I'm going to show how you can apply objects to the surface of a cylinder, a circular array of objects to the surface of a cylinder, and I'm going to use text. So let's bring in a text object. I only need actually one letter. I'm going to make that letter S because it's the first letter of the word that I'm going to apply to an 80 millimeter diameter cylinder, and the word is Saturday. So there it is. Next, what we need to do is to rotate that letter so it stands upright from the work plane. So let's select that protractor and type in 90 and enter. So there we go. We've got an S that sticks up from the work plane. Now what I need to do is to duplicate this object, just shift it down the work plane a little bit. Uh, and then to move it a fixed distance away, move the copy a fixed distance away from the other letter. So let's pull in a ruler, place the ruler on the build plane just about anywhere. Uh, this letter is 27.72 millimeters from the X axis. Let's make that 10.72 because it makes it very easy. 10.72 so we need to create a copy control c control v and then we need to move that copy to be 90.72 from the other letter whoops it's gone too far 90.72 i'm done now with that ruler now what i need to do is to align those two objects so align like so now, the center of this letter is 80 millimeters from the center of that letter. And what I need to do is to combine these two. Into a single object, so we group them. Then I want to copy that three times because then I'll have eight letters. Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V. And then I want to align all those. So I go here and I align them. So now there are four pairs of letters sitting here. And if I select the top one and I rotate it, we've got four letters sitting on the build plane. On a circular array. So now if we select this one and we rotate that 45 degrees then we've got six letters and then finally if I take the last one and rotate it through 45 degrees 135 degrees there we are we have eight letters in a circular array. Now at the present time, all of them are the letter S. That's not very helpful. So if we ungroup these and ungroup them, sorry, I press the group button and ungroup them. Just check they're all ungrouped. Yes, they are. So if we select any one of these, we now have a text object that we can edit. So the first one is going to be an S, but the second one wants to be an A. So if we go back, we can make that into an A. The third one wants to be a T. And then the fourth one wants to be a U. The fifth one wants to be an R. The sixth one wants to be a D. The seventh one wants to be an A. And the eighth one wants to be a Y. Now, because of the way that we've duplicated these, some of them will be mirror images, so we need to correct that. So let's just see what we've got. So we can see the S is okay, 
This is a mirror image and if we click on the protractor we can rotate it 180 and we'll have it the right way round. Let's have a look at the next letter. So if we just put the next one a little bit far. Here we go, the T. If we rotate that 180 degrees, will also be the right way around. So let's have a look at the U. And the U also needs to be rotated. Oh, needs to be rotated 180 degrees. Let's have a look at the R. And let's rotate that 180 degrees. And then we have a D. Oop. We have D. And the D is OK. And the A is OK. And the Y is OK. OK, so now we have an array of letters sitting on the circle that's 80 millimeters in diameter. And what we want to do now is to group all those. Take them, group them. Right, now at the present time, they're sitting on the bill plate with the tails of the letters under the surface of the bill plate. So let's just raise it up. It's going to go on a cylinder that's 80 millimeters high. So let's raise this up about halfway. Okay, so that's Saturday raised up off the, um, the work plane here. So next we need the cylinder that we're going to organize these letters around. So here's the cylinder, pull it in. And I like working in plan view. So we're gonna make this 80 millimeters by 80. And we're gonna make it 80 millimeters high. There we have it. Right, let's go back to the top and zoom, whoop, zoom the wrong way, zoom out a bit. Now what we need to do is to align these. So we go to align, align them in both planes. There we go, in both axes. So now what we have is the letters organized around a cylinder and sticking out about five millimeters or so from the surface. But I only want them to stick out two millimeters. So if I go back to the top like so, and I combine this so it's all one object, that's done. Now I bring in a what I call a cookie cutter, which I have sitting in my parts collection. We bring that in and we sit it on the work plane. We select both of these objects and we align them. Align in both axes, now it's aligned. Now, if we select those two objects, you can see what's going to happen. The cookie cutter is going to cut off the protruding pieces of the letters and leave us with a curved surface to each of the text letters that is completely concentric with the cylinder. So let's combine them. There we go. Let's just move that object into the middle of the work plane and rotate it. I think you can see that that's worked rather well. Now I've used a rather crude surface to this cylinder and I'm just thinking I wish that I'd made this a 64 facet cylinder instead of the rather small number that I've used. But nevertheless, it shows the principle. Well, that's it.